Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can paint your own faux brick accent wall. So I need to get all this stuff removed. Let's get started removing these decals. grab some of the scotch tape that I purchased at Dollar Tree and I took a measuring tape wrapped it around the scotch tape and drew a black line around it that's gonna be my guide and the next thing I'm gonna do is grab an exacto knife and go down the line I drew so that way when I peel the tape it gives me the grout width that I want on my brick wall next thing I did is I cut a brick template out of cardstock paper and it's three inches in height or width however you want to see it and the long portion is 7.5 because once I put the tape it's going to take that little 0.5 inch uh, away because of the width of the tape. Once I remove everything from the walls I take that template that I made and I use it as a guide so I'm taking the brick template and drawing the line where it ends and then putting the template where the last line ended and drawing the bottom line. So once I'm done doing the basic lines going down, I then take my yardstick ruler and join them up. So at this point it's looking more like shiplap, but then I'm going to go in and draw the lines going vertical. I've already drawn the lines going horizontal so now I'm going to take my brick template and use that as a guide to draw my vertical lines of where the bricks is going to lay so that way I start making a brick pattern. Once I have my brick pattern ready I am going to take my scotch tape and I'm going to take it and conceal all the areas where I drew the lines. Quick interruption, follow me on Instagram at consideredawjoy where I post a lot of behind the scenes of all the videos I post here on YouTube. I even share some fun recipes over on my stories. I look forward to seeing you there. Now back to the video. Next I'm using a couple paints that I purchased at Hobby Lobby for 40% off of each. So I roughly spent about $10 for both of these paints and I'm using Fire Pit Red and Treehouse Brown. This is going to help bring the bricks to life. I start off with the brown color first. So I'm grabbing it a little bit and then I am making swipe motions horizontally. So as you can see, I'm not going very heavy on the paint. In some areas, I'm just allowing the paint to glide and finish the paint coming off of the brush. And I get these nice brush strokes, which I want because it makes the brick look a little bit more believable. And then once I'm done with the brown, I'm going to come in with a little bit of red and only focus on certain spots, not all of the wall. I don't want to cover up the majority of the brown. After the paint has dried, I go ahead and remove the scotch tape and this will reveal the grout lines and you are able to see the brick pattern. Once the paint has dried, I am able to use some caulk that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Now the caulk from Dollar Tree says it's odorless. It does have a slight odor um, after like opening up a couple of them. So I did have to wear a mask just to help not breathe in those fumes. But it's not as bad. It's not very unbearable. So I'm using a little bit of the caulk and using a spatula and I'm making sure to go 
some like in some cases I'm going across and then doing a crisscross type of motion and then up down crisscross and then you know horizontal again and this just helps make it look more believable and achieve that German smear look that is very in right now. I used about a total of five to six of the caulk tubes from the Dollar Tree so this makes this accent wall super affordable and I went in with some chalk paint. I bought the chalk paint from Hobby Lobby also at 40% off with my coupon which was another additional five to six dollars and I'm using the same spatula that I used for the caulk and doing the same thing as if it were the caulk but with the paint and this helps brighten up the the rich white in the German schmear because the caulk dries a little dull so this gives it color and it also helps with the texture on top of the caulk. Knowing when to stop adding white or caulk is key to this faux accent wall. Too much white you lose the texture and you lose the brick pattern. Let's take a look at what the wall looked like before. This is the wall after. This is the power of paint and what I love about this accent wall is that it didn't cost me very much. I did this for under $25. And if you are interested to see how I transformed his bedroom, then please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload the video. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY faux accent brick wall and if you tried it, please let me know. Come back to this video and let me know in the comment sections. If you have any questions about any of the process, please let me know in the comment section down below and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye.